Hey guys, it's Mike Bass. We're sitting here in the Chattahoochee National Forest in North Georgia today, and it's probably close to 90 degrees. Yet inside this coach, it's a cool, comfortable 72 degrees. You probably noticed the generator's not run, you wouldn't be able to hear me. And there's certainly no place to plug in around here. The reason this is all possible because I just upgraded this coach from standard flooded batteries, capable of running some lights and a few TVs, to a state-of-the-art Lithionics battery and Zantec system, which creates its own 110 volt power grid, capable of operating all the appliances, to even include running the roof air conditioner on a 50% cycle for up to six to eight hours, all while you're driving down the road or parked at some remote lake miles from civilization. This coach is so advanced, its lithium power system, security cameras, and ring alarm can be monitored and controlled remotely from any location in the U.S. with its onboard 4G Wi-Fi router. There's little doubt the integration of lithium batteries to RVs is the one largest advancement to motorhomes in decades. Lithium is also changing the way we use our motorhomes and more importantly, the way we live in them. Lithium affords us the opportunity to create our own power grid so we can use our appliances anytime, anywhere we travel. This offers us the opportunity to drive past crowded and expensive campgrounds and stop at locations of our choice away from civilization. Lithium adds a whole new meaning to the term self-contained. In this presentation, Mike will provide an overview of the components of his lithium system and share the importance of having the right appliances to supplement a lithium installation. Xantrex offers the world's only UL approved OEM lithium system for RVs. It's called Freedom EGen. You'll find these systems in Winnebago and Coachman to name a few. It was this group's concerns for lithium safety which motivated them to jointly make a quarter of a million dollar investment to make these companies the first in the world to offer UL approved lithium equipment for RVs. For our power distribution, we use the Freedom SW3012 inverter and support equipment, such as their Wi Fi com box and SCP display panel. The 3012 powers the coach's 120 volt devices such as chargers, microwave, entertainment components to include the RV's air conditioner. When it comes to batteries, Lithionics is the oldest and largest supplier of OEM lithium cells in the industry for RVs. Lithionics performs numerous tests on each cell before assembled into packs. Next, the battery pack and BMS are tested together and cycled numerous times under full load, all while undergoing infrared imaging to make sure heat dissipation is equal and all cells meet specs. Lithium is a complicated chemistry with many different grades of quality and cell performance. If we were to compare two Group 31 lithium batteries, one from Lithionics and another from a leading U.S. import vendor, there is a world of difference. The Lithionics pack is the only Type 31 pack to have Bluetooth, a power button, and wireless monitoring with troubleshooting. The same Group 31 pack from Lithionics has a 125 amp hour rating, 1600 watts of power, and surges to 650 amps. In retrospect, the import has only 100 amps, 1280 watts, and can only surge to 200 amps. This makes a major difference in power and usage time. The key power component of this upgrade is comprised of a pair of Lithionics 400 amp hour battery packs, which provide over 10 kilowatts of lithium power. Each of our Lithionics 400 amp packs can provide up to 4,000 amps, not for a few milliseconds like other lithium packs, but for a full second. For redundancy reasons, Mike designed the system with two separate 400 amp packs. In fact, as a test of this feature, we're only using a single 400 amp pack for this project, since our second battery is not scheduled to be built and tested until after this film is released. Without getting over technical, a few key advantages of lithium systems is they can be discharged up to 95% rather than just 50% with AGM batteries. Lithium offers a five to 10 time faster discharge and charge rate. Most important to RVs, lithium is lighter and requires less space. 
Our same 800 amp system using flooded batteries would weigh an additional 600 pounds and take six times the space. To begin this overview, let's start with the BMS. Each lithium battery must have a battery management system or BMS to control over and under charging, power distribution, and have the ability to shut down completely in the event of a problem or extreme temperatures. The Lithionics BMS includes a Bluetooth feature and phone app, which provides a needed interface between the owner and the lithium system. The app provides battery status, voltage, current, wattage, and temperature. In addition, it performs thousands of system checks each minute. There is even an interface to make changes to the programming. Our installation includes a dedicated dash-mounted tablet for the BMS and Victron app for monitoring state of charge, engine alternator output, and solar charging while underway. Most import BMS modules use low-cost solid-state switching, which are prone to heat-related failures when passing high current. The Lithionics BMS uses military-grade silver alloy mechanical contacts sealed in a gas environment. In order for the BMS to meet UL requirements, these contacts were required to open and close continuously for 6,000 cycles under full load. Our BMS also provides ports for CAN bus interface, serial port, Ethernet TCP and IP, as well as other handshake options. Its AMP seal connector provides needed logic to trigger the ChargeMate Pro battery isolator to control charging from the Transit's engine alternator. There's also provision for a state of charge function, which allows in-depth monitoring from a display in the coach. As an example, if you're running the roof air, the SOC will display exact hours and minutes remaining. The Freedom SW3012 inverter provides 30 amp, 110 volt service. Its internal charger provides up to 150 amps to quickly recharge batteries with its custom lithium protocol. The 3012's charging features allow setting levels, search, and power sharing, which monitors active loads to automatically adjust charge rates. For user interface, we included the SCP control panel. This provides a graphical backlit display for the system's configuration and diagnostic information. Everyday selections such as inverter, charger, and shore power amps are on the main page, eliminating menu searching. If you happen to be upgrading from an XC1000 or Magnum inverter, Xantrex offers a network adapter making your stock wiring compatible with the 3012 and SCP display. For remote monitoring, our system includes Xantrex's Combots to provide wireless monitoring and control of the entire system, including an automatic generator start feature. Our Combox is Ethernet connected to our onboard MoFi 4500 4G cell router, which allows video streaming direct from its own Wi-Fi. This device is simply added to your plan like a tablet. Our RV includes a Ring security system complete with two cameras. Ring is unique. Should your RV's Wi-Fi go down, it automatically switches to a 4G cell tower as a backup. It even has an internal 24-hour backup battery. Having the ability to take a look at your coach makes good sense. The one most important feature of any lithium system is having multiple methods to charge the batteries. For this reason, Mike designed his system with five different charging provisions, which we'll now go over. For our primary charging source at home or in a campground, we use the Freedom's internal charger, capable of 150 amps for quick lithium recharging. The next method is from the Ford Transit's factory alternator where in most cases, driving to your next destination can top off the battery. This avoids the need for second alternators and parked high idle charging, which could be harmful to diesel engines and DPF filters. To control charging, our system includes Mastervolt's ChargeMate Pro, an intelligent isolator and charger. Most manufacturers, such as Mercedes, now prohibits upfitters and owners from drawing more than 40 amps from the stock alternator. ChargeMate Pro monitors state of charge of both chassis and house batteries and has the ability to charge either battery from both sources. The Lithionics BMS provides needed triggering from its amp seal connector to control the ChargeMate Pro to include an emergency engine starting feature. Solar is our next charging source from the RV's 400 watts of roof panels. They are controlled with Victron Energy's MPPT 30 amp smart controller, complete with a lithium charging protocol. 
Victron's Bluetooth app allows in-depth monitoring of the entire solar and charging system right from your phone or tablet. In addition, it records past charging history. Mike designed an auxiliary charger as well, so in the event your shore power was insufficient to run the RV's roof air and other loads, the RV would be unplugged and operated solely on lithium power as the aux charger running on a separate cord provides supplement charging to extend runtime. Lastly, this coach is equipped with a 3600 watt Onam propane generator, so in an emergency it could power the Freedom's 150 amp charger. Keep in mind, it's not uncommon to find yourself off the grid with a depleted lithium battery. Instead of calling it quits or trying to find a campground to plug in, a generator allows you to resume activities as it provides full power for the RV and charges the lithium battery at the same time. As a side note, Mike is not a representative of Xantrex or Lithionix, nor other companies mentioned in this film. Since Mike's work entails designing and building military drone aircraft, the OEM equipment was purchased through his company. While Mike performed 100% of the work for this project, if you're considering an upgrade, you should seek qualified help, as lithium components contain lethal high voltages and amperage. A lithium upgrade will require major changes to the 110 and 12 volt factory wiring. First order of any install is disconnecting the 110 volt power and taping the plug for safety. Next, the RV's 12 volt batteries will be removed as well. For safety reasons, Mike designed a system to use a low amperage 12 volt car battery for all initial wiring and testing. Only after the entire system is tested will you connect to the lithium pack. 12 volt wiring is begun by disconnecting all the main feeds such as the Onan generator, engine alternator, inverter, solar, and house feeds. Then each device will be routed to the new location. Our install includes cutoff switches and fuse protection for every device in the event they need to be isolated. Solar panels on the roof should be located to allow safe access to the AC unit, satellite, and antennas. Cabling from the panels should be of adequate size and short as possible, then fused both before and after the controller. Finally, the lithium batteries need to be mounted in an accessible area on a sturdy surface and secured with braces and straps to prevent movement and to withstand an accident. Our installation required major 110 volt wiring modifications. Since the original wiring used two separate 110 circuits, one for shore power for the AC unit, microwave, and fridge, and another for entertainment devices, these lines needed to be lifted and rewired to the panel. The fuse panel, which was only for shore power, had to be rewired to the inverter. This required rewiring of the generator transfer switch with larger wire than redirecting 110 volt power to the inverter for its pass-through 110 volt circuit. In order to protect the inverter circuit, we installed a separate 30 amp fuse panel using 10 gauge wire from the transfer switch back to the fuse panel. We also added an optional feed from the inverter to power the lithium heater, comm box, and Wi-Fi router. Finally, Mike designed a backup battery system, so in the unlikely event of a problem, the RV could be operated solely from an automotive 12 volt battery. A key element to an efficient lithium system is having an RV with as many non-electric appliances as possible to reduce battery consumption. Each electric cooktop element consumes more current than your roof air. It makes little sense to run an electric stove for two to three hours each day for cooking when a propane stove can perform the same task using an undetectable amount of propane saving your battery. The best feature of any lithium RV is having a three-way propane refrigerator. Our coach is complemented with a two-door 6.7 cubic foot unit, which only draws a quarter of an amp when operating. This eliminates the six to 10 amps needed for a compressor refrigerator. The biggest disadvantage of residential refrigerators is they release unwanted heat into the interior of the RV from the compressor and worse, the unit's condenser, where the heat removed from the fridge is released inside the RV, requiring the air conditioner and battery the additional tasks to remove. In retrospect, 
a three-way propane refrigerator has no compressor, uses only a pilot light flame to operate, and expels 100% of its heat outside the RV through two large vents. Plus, the three-way has the option of using 110 when plugged in or 12 volts while driving. The next best option for a lithium RV is having an onboard generator. To save costs, manufacturers now delete the generator in lithium RVs, drastically reducing their off-the-grid capabilities. The Onan can power the Freedom's 150-amp charger to quickly recharge the lithium batteries or even run the entire coach if needed. If thousands of homeowners can justify having an emergency generator at home, surely a small generator in an RV plays a more vital role for emergency power when you're miles from civilization and your lithium battery is depleted. Regretfully, instead of our RV being equipped with a 13.5K BTU air conditioner, drawing only 10 to 12 amps, it has a larger 15K BTU unit, drawing 16 to 18 amps, seriously reducing lithium runtime. The larger 15K AC units have created an epidemic of problems as they overload their 20 amp circuits, creating excess heat, breaker, and generator issues. Because of this mistake, 70% of new RV owners are experiencing compressor starting issues, requiring them to spend three to $500 for soft start devices. Running your heat pump with lithium is not efficient and draws more amperage than cooling. For maximum off-the-grid time, a lithium RV will benefit further using propane for heating. Lithium is most efficient around 65 degrees and loses efficiency at high or low temperatures. In fact, the BMS can shut down entirely due to extreme temperatures. For this reason, our compartment's heating is temperature controlled using Extreme Heater's automatic 300 watt heater. Its processor maintains temperatures at no lower than 40 degrees. During summer, lithium batteries create excess heat when charging or discharging. Therefore, our compartment is fan vented to the RV as well. Our coach uses a Firefly multiplex system, which controls nearly every electrical device in the coach to include the generator and AC unit. Since our other devices were Bluetooth controlled, we upgraded Firefly to Bluetooth as well using Firefly's Vega Touch module and phone app. Installation is straightforward and only requires plugging the module into a main processor board. The Firefly app is priceless, allowing temperatures to be controlled bedside. This concludes our film on upgrading an RV to lithium power. While lithium comes at an expense, when you consider its many advantages for recreational vehicles and its longevity, its investment far outweighs its initial cost. By any account, the future of all RVs will be lithium power. If you would like to see other articles or films from Mike Mass, I invite you to visit his personal RV website at rvvolt.com. Thanks for watching. 